Around the world, billions of consumers choose to use electronic payments to make purchases when shopping in stores, online, and over mobile devices. VisaNet, the digital network behind Visa, joins billions of consumers, tens of millions of merchant locations, and nearly 15,000 financial institutions worldwide. In this video, we are going to take a look behind the scenes of an electronic payments network to see how transactions are processed, explore how all of the different parties involved are connected, and review the various steps required for any electronic payment to occur. Let's start out by taking a look at the cast of players involved in every transaction. Consumers are issued debit or credit cards, which allow them to access their money or credit lines at numerous ATMs and make purchases at millions of merchant acceptance locations around the globe. The consumer's bank that issued the cards is known as the issuer. The issuer will authorize the transaction and guarantee payment on behalf of the consumer. Merchants who choose to participate in the payments network can take advantage of the large consumer base along with the fast, safe, and secure transactions provided by the network. The merchant's bank is also known as the acquirer. The acquirer provides access to the network for the merchant by authorizing their transactions and ensuring that the merchant receives payment quickly and securely. And there is the network, or VisaNet, that connects all of the parties involved in order to make electronic payments possible. Every electronic payments transaction can be divided into three steps, authorization, clearing, and settlement. Let's see what happens during a typical transaction at a local grocery store. Authorization, the first step in the process, begins at checkout, when the consumer swipes, taps, or inserts a card into the store's point-of-sale terminal. Once the card is read by the point-of-sale device, a digital message containing the details of the transaction, along with the consumer's account information, is sent from the merchant to the acquirer. The acquirer will format the details of the transaction and then send the message to VisaNet. When VisaNet receives the message, it will run the message through a series of risk and fraud prevention tools to ensure that the transaction is valid and secure. The request is then routed to the issuer. When the message is received, the issuer will check the balance on the consumer's account to see if sufficient funds are available to cover the total amount of the transaction. If there is enough money in the account, the issuer will place a hold on these funds and then send the message back to VisaNet. VisaNet will route the approval message to the acquirer. The acquirer receives the details of the transaction and then sends the issuer's approval to the merchant. The merchant can now let the consumer leave with the groceries because the issuer has approved the request and guarantees payment to the merchant for the value of the goods sold. This entire authorization process usually happens in just a matter of seconds. As far as the consumer and merchant are concerned, the transaction is now complete. The consumer has the groceries and the merchant knows that the acquirer will pay them within the terms of their agreement. But this is just the first step of the transaction process. The next step is called clearing. After the transaction is complete, the acquirer formats the data and transmits the final transaction and cardholder details to VisaNet. VisaNet then sorts all transactions worldwide and transmits a consolidated batch file to each issuer that is participating in the network. Upon receipt of the batch file, the issuer removes the authorization hold from the consumer's account and debits the final transaction amount from their account balance. Once the clearing of the transactions has commenced, the final step of the payment process takes place. This step is known as settlement. During the settlement process, VisaNet consolidates every electronic payment transaction worldwide and sends consolidated net settlement statements to the participating issuers and acquirers. Funds are then transferred between each institution with account activity to settle all transactions that have occurred within a specific processing day. At this point, the process is complete. Payments have become faster and more secure than ever before, providing a foundation for innovation, enabling exciting new ways to pay and be paid. From e-commerce to mobile, person-to-person -person and beyond, electronic payments networks are helping to pave the way to the future.